Hi there. Um, in this video now we will uh, look at a number of different cases where externalities are uh, considered when uh, looking at the market equilibrium in a perfect competition. Now what is an externality? Externality is basically uh, a benefit or an, a cost to, uh, to the bystanders, the, the people or the agents not involved directly in the uh, activities of the firm. Um, you could have a different uh, a number of examples of this for example by the way externalities are not necessarily costs only they could be benefits as well also externalities arise from both uh, the production and consumption of goods and services. So think of a um, chemicals company producing um, uh, some final goods using some chemicals, waste uh, chemi uh, chemical materials, raw materials, then, then which will then uh, create some sort of waste, a small amount of waste, let's say, that do not have any use or cannot be used uh, in, in further processing. So that needs to go somewhere. And usually we have the cases, we have read in the newspapers, and if you are aware of uh, cases in the, in the, in the past from, from, say, 50s and 60s and 70s, that the chemicals were dumped into the rivers and water waterways um, that obviously then kills the marine life in the water in oceans for example chemicals are usually dumped into oceans as well assuming that no one would ever live there but in fact there are living uh, uh, marine uh, creatures in the in the in the sea usually so this this would be damaging and eventually it damages the uh, environment because this eventually wash up washes up uh, all the dump washes up into the shores and more often there will be cases, there are cases uh, that we are seeing now in Africa where dump washes up on the shores of Somalia and all the poor countries, so it, it, it is a headache for them because they need to have to allocate budget to clean up the shores and things like this. Right, so these are externalities. So the, when these chemicals are produced and sold in the market, the actual company, the produce, producing company benefits from it by selling it, but then uh, apart from its private costs, it had these external costs to the environment. Now, in terms of consumption, I think of uh, smoking cigarette. You cigarette consuming cigarette basically well uh, has a cost, private cost, which is the per pack cost of the cigarette. But then it also has environmental cost, whereby it pollutes the environment. So you're sitting in the room, someone is smoking. There's a cost to you as well if you're inhaling the smoke, and it, the cost is greater to you than the person who is smoking. In fact. So the smoker doesn't pay you for this, who doesn't compensate for harming your uh, lungs, for example. Yeah? How about the benefits of externalities? Well, there are quite a few. I think we looked at the, uh, we looked at the case of uh, vaccinations. If someone is vaccinated at a young age and as they grow older, they won't catch a certain disease that, is vaccinated, that, that, that they receive vaccination against. Too. So that implies the next person the working with them, the people working or family members won't get catch that disease as a result as well. Without the vaccination, for example, in the 18th and 19th century, a lot of people died because the vaccination wasn't developed back then. Just because simply someone in the family catches them, sort of infectious disease, flu, say, say yeah, flu, the whole family will be wiped out. As a result, they won't. You know, there wasn't much innovation in the, and the life was short, life expectancy was always short before 19th and 20th century. So vaccinations greatly improved the life expectancy. Expectancy. You see this the consumption of this vaccination or use of the vaccination that created this uh, positive externality. Not only benefited the uh, consumer, but also benefited the whole, uh, whole society as a, you know, the, the environment as a whole as well people living around that person or pe people living with and working with that person as well. Now, uh, production externalities also exist. For example, um, a, a chemical company may, again, let's assume there's a chemi chemical company that produces sort of good, some ex good, but then it has a waste that can be used in the farmlands to fertilize the ground. So, you see, the good has no use. Well, the, the company that produces these chemicals do not have any use for it so you, you have to dump it but then one way to do is just give it to farmers so that they could spread it over to their land and then and then the ground would be fertile and could you know could 
could improve harvest for the next year and things like that. So this is a positive externality of producing a certain good. So the four cases now. Let's look at the case now. If these uh, externalities exist, then the optimal production point uh, that we have looked so far is not that really an optimal point because we ignored this marginal social benefits and costs of this activity in the past or so far in the lectures. Now I want to take a, a bit of funny example here because the externalities and others in, in business exist. Quite a few examples can be taken but I think one thing that I've talked about in the past was the with the barbecue in the library square we had this was we saw a smoke coming out of this barbecue thing and people were lined up buying it and at the same time we looked at a number of we discussed a number of issues with it and benefits i think benefits were not discussed at all so let's assume that these uh, these well the, we had that barbecue fair anyway so we don't have to assume that but then there are external costs of this and these are I'm just looking at costs, there are benefits as well. Just let's, let's look at costs first. Uh, harmful effects, pollution, for example, is one example. Um, when determining how much barbecue to produce, this guy, the barbecue man, should have taken into account the harm each barbecue made is doing to the air, but then he doesn't, so he just goes on producing. Um, so cost of having barbecue should really include that uh, the costs of uh, cost of benefits in as a, uh, you might think as well to the external environment, but we ignored it. So because no one really asking this guy what's his name, uh, the barbecue man to to uh, to incorporate or include the cost of uh, uh, cost of damage to the environment in the price so if should he include it the price would have been a bit higher and who pays it? obviously students would pay it, the price would have been but then no one owns the air in the campus so it's a dumping space in other words yeah you just dump it just like chemical company dumps air waste into the ocean so they are not paying for cleanup eventually yeah so let's assume that's the case now let's look at four cases now for equilibrium conditions with, equi uh, with the externalities in, in the, with the presence of externalities in this production process and how uh, how, how uh, inefficient it would be if we do not do not incorporate the externalities in the, in the prices or cost calculations so first case is that the marginal social cost of uh, having barbecue or producing barbecue is greater than the marginal uh, private costs. So, in other words, we are probably overproducing as a result. It's a case of overproduction. So, we need to reduce today that if, if we are to take into account the costs of external costs of barbecue. Let's assume that there are no externalities in consumption. So, by consuming barbecues, no one external to this environment benefits or harm it, is harmed. So in this case, no externalities. So demand curve is just the marginal private benefit, which is also equal to marginal social benefit. And also, let's assume now, since we're looking at the costs, the supply curve is the marginal private cost curve. This is the marginal curve. I just take, stuck the P in between MC. Basically, MC is marginal cost. And we're looking at just the case of straight line case. You can, you can think of it as, as a curve as well, if you want. It, it doesn't change anything. For the sake of simplicity, straight line would be helpful. Now, obviously, the guy who's doing this, the, the barbecue man, now I refer to him barbecue man, he's been selling the barbecue QPCs. This is, by the way, PC is, stands for uh, perfect competition. At the PC, PPC basically, the price and quantity, that's the equilibrium that, uh, that prevailed in that market, let's say, library square. But then there are externalities given that he was emitting that smoke, that negative externalities in producing barbecues. So each additional barbecue, so if we grow, if we go along here, each additional barbecue he produces basically is adding a cost to the marginal cost. Uh, that is not being taken into account. So each additional cost creates that marginal cost because uh, each additional unit of barbecue, I mean. So that's because this smoke is basically growing as he produces more and the cost of it as he increases the production 
is growing as well. So that should really be this marginal e external cost, MEC is marginal external cost, should really be then added to the marginal private cost to come up with a new supply curve, marginal social cost curve in other words. Yeah? So if we add it, um, so that distance basically, if we just move this, add this much of a distance or this much of a cost to the equilibrium cost, we should really have been at this point here and that drawing a line on a Covering that point over that point gives us the marginal social curve. Basically, it's the sum of the two curves, the blue and the red one. The values for it at each production point it will be uh, it will show us a new adding the values. Basically, show us a new curve. Now, this is the actual the the the, the this is the actual curve at the moment. That because he's only internalizing the marginal private costs not the social costs. That's why we have just the supply curve. But then when we internalize this external cost when we take into account and price included in the price that we are charging that we should really have this marginal social cost curve as a supply curve here. Um, this is actual, this is the hypothetical one in case of uh, in case of the, uh, the marginal, uh, if in, in case we include the marginal uh, external costs. That is said, look at this now, the, the quantities that he's producing at the moment should really be uh, priced at this point, MSC, so the cost per unit is much higher than the price he's charging now because of external costs, because no one is now paying the, no, no student, neither students nor the guy producing the barbecue man is paying the cost of the smoke. So uh, essentially the price is lower than what it should be. But since we're looking at equilibrium, the optimal point, the optimal point in the case of uh, including the MEC in the, in the supply curve, or supply decisions, for example, that guy is making, how many to produce, should really be this P star. And the quality should be lower than it is now. So actual quantity P, Q, P, C, while the Q star is the quantity that should be uh, if if we internalize the costs, margining in normal costs or external costs. Now, because he is now producing at this point, not at this point, now we have this dead weight loss. Yeah, if we internalize the costs, we've uh, we've moved right here, and then that cost wouldn't wouldn't have been incurred basically. Yeah, to the society, we would have covered that up basically, or we would have uh, taken into account this extra area, this area here. But we didn't because the guy is just keeps selling at the low price, not that high price. Yeah, at at this point where he's selling now, he's producing PC, and then he's just selling PC, PPC here, and then QPC. He is basically supposed to charge this much, not this much. But then, by not by sticking to this price, now he's in in equilibrium. He's he's in the, his, his his external costs are creating his activities are creating this production activity is creating this dead weight loss here. That's not being taken into account. Yeah. So well, this is basically a welfare loss in other words. Yeah. So yeah, optimal quantity Q star, but then quantity in perfect competition. Well, under perfect competition, that's actually current one would be much higher. So we should cut down the production of for a more efficient output and price decisions. Yeah. So at the moment, welfare loss is greater, and that's the that's the one here. Okay. Uh, here is a quick uh, quick um, quiz. So take the next thirty seconds. It's a quite a long read. I think we had this quiz, I just really didn't realize that we had this, so it's going to be parallel, yeah? In the, I think we discussed that in the lecture, but unfortunately we don't have the record of these videos because the camera apparently is not working in the room, so I requested a move to a new room, change of room. So we just covered this case here where the, there is an overproduction, QPC is greater than the Q star, the optimal point, when the social cost is greater. So. Remember, we have we, the idea here is to equalize the MPC and MSC, yeah, for an optimal point. But at the moment, they are not equal. Okay, now external benefits of producing BBQ. Well, believe me, there is an externality. Well, a positive, positive externality. That's marginal external benefit. And in this case, we would be under produ producing. The barbecue man would be under producing. We want more of that, more more barbecue. But it turns out that. Uh, uh, he may not be because he's not internalizing the benefits. Now, um, the, there is no external and internal, uh, sorry, external benefits or 
or costs in consumption. So demand equals marginal private benefit, marginal social benefit as usual. Assume no external in consumption. But in production, we have ex uh, we have external benefits. As a result, it's just we are internalizing the S, oh sorry, MPC, only the marginal costs, the actual cost that's costing just to make the barbecue. We are still not taking into account external cost, uh, benefits. So in that case, the market equilibrium would be that point, as usual, PC to QPC. Now, assume that there is a positive externality in production. Remember I talked about this guy, um, uh, mentioned the uh, case of uh, a chemical company giving its fertilizer, oh, sorry, waste to the farmers who would then use it as a fertilizer. That's a possible, that's an external positive externality in production. So we should really produce more chemicals to get those waste available to the uh, to the farmers so that they don't have to pay huge amounts to get the fertilizers. But then with the barbecue man, what's the external benefits of making this barbecue? Maybe let's assume that the smoke that's emitted from this barbecue barrel is going to stimulate students' brains. Yeah, to it would give a positive effect, positive shock to students. In other words, every barbecue this guy is producing makes more smoke, but then this smoke goes into the uh, corridors, foyers, or lecture halls into the, uh, into, the, into the campus itself, the buildings itself, lecture halls and seminar rooms, and then people smoking it gets more uh, boost to their brand, uh, brain. So the brain gets boosted. It's more like adrenaline, yeah? Uh, boosting your brain work or uh, a co coffee, I should say caffeine, not adrenaline, it's, it's a bit of a wrong example. So caffeine boosting your brain, for example, does it, uh, but students aren't paying it. You see, they're just sitting in the lecture and suddenly their brain just wakes up. Maybe they are sleeping, maybe daydreaming, maybe looking at their, maybe looking at their mobile phones, but suddenly because of the smoke, it just lights on switch on and the brain starts, you know, you start becoming more productive, you become more uh, effective in studying. So that's good, isn't it? If we have ever had this sort of barbecue, then we should have more of it. So you know, I'm saying yeah, you should really have barbecue host, we should really host barbecue fairs every day. If that's the hope, if that's what what it takes to do, oh sorry, if it if it benefits us basically. But then because no one is paying it, I mean, the guy, barbecue man is not taking into account in his prices this benefit and students are not paying it, although they are benefiting from it. They are just bystanders, yeah? That means the marginal social cost really should be, marginal private cost, I should say, is higher than marginal social cost. That's because of the benefit. So the, you remember that if the cost of something or the raw materials declines, we produce more of it, yeah? The supply shifts to the right. That's the case here, yeah? Is the case here if you think of it yeah so the marginal private benefit minus marginal external benefit uh, sorry marginal private cost minus the marginal external benefit the private cost is just the actual cost that the barbecue man pays but then he's he's he, he needs to take away this marginal uh, external benefit that the students are getting but the other actually yeah so it's assumed that if he does it then marginal social cost will be lower than the marginal per private cost and it shifts the the supply curve to the right gives us a, a point at which we should for this quantity of goods we should really be you know charging this much the cost is lower in other words we should say yeah the cost is lower that permits us to lower the price and produce more well under the externalities in the case where inter they are internalized I should say optimum point of production is Q star now yeah because the cost is lower we can sell it at a lower price in equilibrium yeah P star and produce more barbecue that barbecue man could produce more but then he's not doing it as a result we're losing this welfare benefit yeah that because it's benefiting the students we could have produced more but then we haven't we are just producing at the point A the barbecue man is producing at point A and shifting here would be more beneficial, but he's not. So that's a loss to the society. Yeah, welfare loss. And I hope some school of chemistry guys will come up with some sort of smoke, uh, smoke maker that can be put into sprinkled into barbecues. That could create this very useful smoke to students. Okay, that's the second case here where we are producing less than what we could do. We could produce. I mean, we could produce and benefit.
Now let's look at consumption cases. As I said, production and consumption cases exist. Externalities exist in both cases. Let's look at the case where marginal social benefit is lower than the marginal private benefit. And as a result, this is similar to the first case here. The, the, the actual production is greater than the, uh, than the optimal production, so it should, should really be producing less. Now in this case, you will see that the, uh, there will not be any uh, external, oops, I clicked quickly, externalities in production. So the supply basically doesn't create any external benefit or cost, so it's just assumed that's the case. Marginal private cost equals marginal social cost. Um, it may be, uh, sorry, I should say costs, not the benefits. So this is only costs here taken into account. But the consumption of that good, whatever we produce, in this case barbecue, is, is benefits the people uh, surrounding people or the people on external to the production process. And the demand curve only takes into account the marginal private benefits, just the prices we're interested in that we're charging without taking into account external cases. And as a result, the quantity and the equilibrium quantity is PC, PPC, and then equilibrium quantity, uh, sorry, a price is PPC, quantity is given here, negative externality in consumption exists, which implies as we consume more of this barbecue, we are harming ourselves, there's cost to it. But we are not really taking that into account by producing it along the uh, this uh, sorry along this curve the, the 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 one that's declining. So this is a case of consumption yeah demand curve. So we're selling based on the demand curve here. But if you look at it, consuming barbecue appears to be very harmful. Um, has harmful effects to the non-consuming people. So if a student buys a piece of barbecue, and consumes in and then goes to uh, goes to a lecture and then may go to sleep quickly say it, he goes to sleep and the next person next person sitting to that student will probably start sleeping as well let's say yawning just causes con being contagious sleep is also a contagious thing especially in lectures seeing someone sleeping I'm sure that, that the next person would certainly sleep especially in lectures yeah, long lectures he will just feel sleepy or this bug, this guy sitting right in front of in front row, just opens the laptop and then starts looking at their Facebook pages and other social media. People immediately behind them start thinking, okay, he's seeing. I mean, he's checking his um, social media account. Why don't I? So he opens it. The person behind them opens it. But they see, you know, person behind you can see your screen easily, especially in lecture hall. So this is contagious. So the barbecue consume the con person consume who consumed barbecue is just spreading this disease. Yeah, it's infecting others. So that's uh, the negative externality of uh, of consuming barbecue here. So it's the cost of it is increasing. You see, it's it's costly to the society basically. If that's the case. Um, what happens now is if you take that into account, we should really think about. If you take into account the cost to students, we should really think about consuming less. When there's a barbecue fair, students should be careful. Don't buy it just before the lecture. Yeah? Buy it when you want to go home. <laughs> so so that you don't you don't cause others to have this sort of uh, uh, ineffective day or uh, a poor attendance and poor poor uh, poor poor participation in the lecture. So that's a dead weight loss as a result. Yeah. Um, you know, what we're producing here, instead, we should really be here at C. So barbecue man should price the, uh, should uh, consider, or the, the, the consumer should consider the, the external costs of consuming it. It's more like consuming a cigarette, but not paying for the cost of uh, other people's, uh, uh, who are close to that person, uh, the people's, so for example, expenses for for later years, uh, treatments, for example, you know, you, if you live with someone who smokes a lot in the house and over time, well, you have to sit there in, and then over time eventually, by consuming more and more of the smoke, could damage your, could eventually damage your lungs and the breathing functioning. So who is going to pay for it? Of course, yourself, the external, the person who doesn't smoke, the person who smokes doesn't. So he, he just keeps smoking it. So 
uh, we need to, considering this sort of uh, cases of external negative effects, then we should really be producing less of that barbecue, yeah, or less cigarettes as well as a result. Um, we talk about how this can be uh, sort of uh, internalized by taxation in the next video. For now, we're just describing these negative externalities. So next one. Next one is consuming benefits the society yeah, of that barbecue. So we wish we should produce more. So Q star should really be higher than what we produce now. So let's assume that there is no externality in production. So that's MPC equals MSC. But then there is external, uh, there is external benefit in addition to the private benefits. But for now, we have that market equilibrium, as usual. The positive externality in consumption exists, which implies as we consume more, you can see that there's a benefit. Although it's declining over time, marginally, uh, it's, it, there is a benefit for it. When you take into account the demand curve, plus the existing private benefit plus the MEB, should really shift upwards. Remember, if there is a change in taste, we have this shift outwards. That's the case as well. Maybe we, we love the barbecue now, consume more of it, if it really benefits you. So in the production case, if you remember, smoke was uh, the uh, smoke coming out of this uh, barbecue barrel was stimulating brain. Yeah. And that was the case of production being given or giving out or the creating that external positive uh, marginal uh, what do you call this? Benefits, production, benefiting the society that's, that are surrounding the uh, company's activities. Now, in this case, it's about consumption. Student who consumes barbecue is now being more productive, which then implies the next student will be more productive. So, buying a barbecue, so we need to buy more because it has a bit more benefit than what it, what it is, we think. So consuming a student goes to lecture and then starts being more productive. And next person sees it, well, he will start working as well. If that person who consumes barbecue and then sleeps throughout the lecture, then I think that will be contagious for the next person as well. Since this guy is not sleeping anymore, because the consumption of barbecue basically stimulated his brain, keeps alive, uh, alive I mean uh, active, his brain keeps his brain active. The next person won't sleep either. So it's like a case of um, case of um, vaccination. If one gets vaccinated, the whole family doesn't get the, get that uh, disease because he's not getting it. No one is catching. Means no. Well, we are more productive. So the actual production point is A, but we should really be the at Q star. We should produce more at a lower cost. Uh, lower price because the benefit of it is still higher so that price justifies it in equilibrium yeah justifies producing more so there's an external benefit of consuming this product so why not to produce more but then we are not producing more yeah we're just sitting here according if we don't take into account the benefit so that's the dead weight loss again again loss to the society you know internalizing the benefits okay this these are four cases here we just uh, looked at the different cases with examples and how the socially optimal point would be. Socially optimal point would obviously, if I go back just as a, as a final, final uh, point, is C, where MSC, MSC equals uh, M, uh, MSB. Sorry, I'm trying to look at this guy, the, the blue line, it's the green one now, sorry, C in the one. So, Marginal social benefit equals marginal social cost. So that would be our optimal point of production if we internalize the externalities. Now a quick quiz. So it's more the quiz is more uh, or more like a general sort of example quiz here. So no more barbecues. Okay. Which of the following creates a net external cost in consumption? Take a ten minutes, ten, ten seconds, and then see what you think. Yep, it's smoking. Public goods, that will be the next lecture now. So I'll record it separately. It's going to